Hello everyone, and welcome to the Gunning Gallade, and welcome to a little quick one uh, on this weekend. I was um, flipping some bulk a few days ago, and I went to Dolly's Cards. I was thinking, like, what do I want? What could I see? And you know, I've noticed these tins before, but they never really caught my eye. But I saw them, and I saw them, and I saw them, and I'm like, oh, look at the artwork. Melmetal, Lucario, so I decided that I will grab this. And then today I was at Cardboard Classics, one of my favorite stores out there. I just love them. They're the best, really. And uh, I grabbed these Darkness of Blaze promos with Pikachu and Antenna. And they were six fifty and five ninety five a piece, so not too shabby. And while I was there, I decided that I'm going to grab the rest. Well, I grabbed some reverse hollows and so it's kind of nice because they're in a region a little bit outside of the main downtown core so I was able to actually go inside take a look so these are the last three cards I needed to complete Steam Siege so it's a pretty unique moment tonight so those are the three cards and then I got some reverse hollows from Dragon's Exalted which is another set from black and white that I'm trying to complete there's three sets that I I'm trying to actually snag it's, it's uh, I guess in order, it would be Dark Explorers, and then Next Destinies and Dragons Exalted, three really cool sets, so it's going to take me some time I'm getting there, but um, yeah, so let's start with the slightly more modern set, I truly love these moments. This is a really old binder. I know people say, don't use the three ring binders, but if you store them horizontally, then you're good because all the weight is uh, obviously going to the ground. So you'll be fine, in my opinion. And obviously, as you can see, it's been four years that these binders have been used and none of these cards are creased or damaged. Obviously, the quality is not the same as something like a Monster or a Legion binder, but I still think it's... Uh, it, it does the job for me, and also I like that you can zip it up, and I mean, I'm not crazy about dust, so, but yeah, well, this is the Fates Collide section that you've seen, I've posted some things from this recently, a really cool throwback set for me, there's, uh, look at that Tyranitar pre-release, it's funny, the days and you can just get those things without too much of a hassle, and now they're super elusive, super, I guess, pretty pretty hard to find, now let's fix the angle so you can see everything. This is the set that featured half and half cards. So as you saw, you have Galvantula over here that's like half grass, half half uh, electric. Which is pretty cool. Ampharos, and that's a really nice artwork. Here we go, we're getting closer now. There it is, Primate. Like of all the things, I'm pretty sure I pulled one, but I just I forgot when I was organizing it. But since this is a non-hollow, then I can just kind of slide it in there. There it is, Primate, or Primate rather. Really big fan of that Sneasel artwork too. Can't deny that. And then last, lastly, we're going to go to the normal page. There it is, normal type starting on this side. And here we go. And obviously this is, I got to do it through the back. So right here, Fletchlinder, or sorry, Talonflame. So Fletchlinder will go here, and then Talonflame should go right over here. Bam! So, what a moment. There it is, Steam Siege. I just completed that whole set. That for me is truly a remarkable feat. So here it is, the last page. The remarkable last page of all the full art EXs. And then the split types. Volcanion is fire and water. Steelix is steel and fighting. Well, technically ground, but you know what I mean. Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir EX, half fairy, half psychic. This is a sleeper set in my opinion. Like a lot of people say, I don't really... It's not really hot on the market, but... If you can snag at least the secret rares for... A relatively low price on eBay or at your local store, I would do it and just keep it. Just keep it, keep it chilling there. I saw a Volcanion full art for like 60 bucks on eBay, so I would say not a bad idea. Not a bad idea if you want to snag that. Okay, on to the good stuff. Let's just sneak it in there. I think I'm going to start with newest to oldest. 
So let's see. Let's let's do the Pikachu. Uh, well, with Charizard V Max. I mean, one pack magic. Well, I highly doubt it. Technically, it's two. But oh man, look at this Shaman baby! Actually, I I got even more excited when I saw that you can get this wonderful little Shaman coin. Obviously, the Pikachu. Hollow. Look at that Cosmo, cosmic hollow. No swirls. Sort of one over there, but it doesn't really count as a full swirl. Really nice card. And here we go. Actually, let's just get both of them open so we can rip into the packs immediately. Because ain't nobody got time for waiting. Alright, Hatena. And then the Shaman pin. Well, coin, which is worth looking at. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. I'm really excited because I got myself someone to illustrate a team for me, Pokemon Rose Castle. So I've been waiting a few years for that, so it's a big deal for me. All right, let's crack these packs. Let's see what it is. Eternatus, take a step to the left. I don't know why, but every time I hear the name or think of it, I know it's like a big scary monster from the Matrix. If for you older cats, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I just have to do a little song and dance when I see... Eternatus, take a step to the left. Oh yeah. Alright. Here we go. Ducklet. Marip. Paris. Gothita. Skarmory. Psychic type energy. Doug Trio. A rare fossil. Simi Sage. Reverse hull is a vanillish. And the rare is a Manectric non hollow. Okay, fine, I get it. Alright. V Max Charizard. Obviously when you get one pack, you can't really hope for too much. So, well, I just all I can really hope for is just a good reverse hollow for me because this is the well, we'll see, but it's probably going to be one of the only cards or sets that I'm going to complete in the uh, in this era and a Golurk, but really cool artwork though. But yeah, I kind of resorted to not really chasing. I have to admit, when I first started collecting. Pokemon cards, this was like five years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I need everything. But I realized it's just a lot wiser to pick and choose. You can be chasing as much as you want, um, but it's not worth getting packs after a little while. Just get the individual cards, because you'll save yourself a lot of coin. And look at this absolutely brilliant promo. That's probably one of my favorites from the Sun and Moon era. Um... There's a lot of reprints around the corner, but this distribution's found itself a little hard for some stores. Look at that. That is sweet. I love that very much. Oh, Unified Minds. Also, there's like this really high-quality coin. Oh, man. You gotta hang that on your wall or something. GX Tank Team. Now, it's funny because when I first saw Tank Team, oh, that's cool. That's uh, unique. Let's do newest to oldest. When I first saw the concept of Tag Team, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Do I really... I thought they were being lazy, to be honest, but in all real honesty, um, <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, like, I got... Uh, like I love the the Piplup... Uh, sorry, the Piplup and Blastoise. That's so cool. Um, Fomantis, Grass Energy, Steeny, Azelf... Did Danny look at the baby? Dwebble, run away, cause that firebird is gonna have you for dinner. Okay, uh, there's obviously in this set. I mean, I'm, I'm cautious about chasing any of the sets that came out. I mean, anytime I'm gonna get hidden fates, I'm gonna definitely um, <clears throat> consider my chances or my option, really. But uh, it's it's kind of hard to get. Really? All right. I think I saw some magic. Oh, that is so cool. Look, it's crafty. I would totally add that to my best of XY binder. Cubone, fighting type energy, cherish ball, Tauros, Tortuga, a water type with fighting type energy. That's that could be kind of useful. And the rare is a Weavile GX. Nice, nice to actually pull one. The bottom looks kind of funky, but it's actually totally fine. So a set that I've caught my eye, or that has caught my eye, is Lost Thunder. I mean, everyone recently, oh, well, maybe not so recently, but in general have been really chatting up the, um, the Lugia full art, which is quite a valuable card. 
especially the rainbow rare so if you can get your hands on that then I would say you should uh, well I mean you kind of if you could I'm good for you because it's uh, it's quite pricey especially in the, the PSA world if you get it graded it's extremely exclusive nice Nagadel Nagadanel and that's an ultra beast sweet deal so hollow <clears throat> all right evolutions You've probably noticed I haven't had too many crazy evolutions openings yet because I personally find that I'm ooh, I'm a little bit um, indifferent to the set. I think it's three and two. There sh there are energies in the set. It's usually that's the the deal breaker. But but yeah, I kind of was over this, but it's a really nostalgic set, so I understand why everybody was going crazy okay I totally messed that up but here you go Arcanine is the rare non hollow uh, Machoke potion maintenance L reverse hollow is a fire energy so that's actually kinda cool um, so yeah not uh, I think it was an okay opening uh, nothing too fancy we'll see what I can get my hands on actually stay tuned because I'm gonna have a a live stream a little collaborative with JM collect so keep your eye out for that but in the meantime thank you all for watching this is the gunning Gallade. until the next time bye for now